I'm expecting in some IP protocol and uh, embedded system. Uh, today we are going discussing about some IP protocol. Some IP protocol, how it's work, uh, what is some IP uh, we are going to discuss uh, today. First, uh, we seeing here contents. What are the contents we are going to learn today? Some IP, OSA model, TCP, UDP, and Ethernet. Finally, we are seeing the some examples on some IP. First, some IP, we are starting with some IP. Uh, some IP means scalable service oriented middleware over IP. Its name say it's a service oriented. We are already seen some uh, wow, connection, less connection, uh, connection oriented protocol. This is the um, connection, less and connection oriented protocol also. And uh, with this, uh, we are communicate with some services. Uh, first, what is the some IP? Uh, some IP means it's a communication protocol. Uh, communication protocol means uh, uh, we are uh, exchanging the information with some rules. Uh, some IP majorly using in automotive industry for communication between his use. Uh, here you seeing two ECU, ECU A and ECU B. Both are connected to switch through uh, Ethernet. Maybe Ethernet this can. One is not working. Hello. Hello, I am audible, right? Yes, you are audible. Oh, thank you. Um, I will explain how it's happened. Join audio thing. We have a two ECU here, ECU and ECU B. Just assume ECU uh, A is a client and ECU. Mm. ECS server. Uh, we have it two not one is called a client, one is client. How it's work? Uh, in some IP, it has uh, some services in the network. Uh, it means server is providing the service here. It's a service provider. In client is it's a consuming the service by calling the methods. Uh, services means uh, we are using uh, we can assume one temperature controller. Uh, first I will complete that consuming the services by calling method. Here service means we have a one service, a temperature uh, sensor reading data. This is the one service. It has a, some methods, a getter field method. Uh, we have we want to uh, take the temperature from temperature sensor. How we are taking by calling the method. This service has a someone method by calling a get uh, get temperature. We are calling that <coughs> method. We are taking the temperature value. And uh, we are going. Uh, next, in some IP, uh, in the four type of uh, communication happen in client and server, between client and server. Here, first one is a request response um, type. Uh, this is how we, uh, how it's happen means client first it will request the um service to the uh, from server uh, server what it's uh, it will do uh, it will give the response with the requested data or uh, client uh, requested some data from server server is uh, response with the that data and second one is fire and forget method fire and forget method means the name is saying first the here client is requested for some data and after that, it's uh, it's not expecting response, and the server also not giving the response here. In the third one is event method. Here event means uh, uh, publish or subscriber method we are using here. Mm -hmm. Public and subscriber means uh, sub client will subscribe the some event in server. After that, once uh, event occur, that time it will server will notify the events to the server uh, clients or subscribers in uh, fourth one is field method 
in field method we uh, field as a three things first one getter and second one setter and third one is eventer notifier here we can see first we in uh, service server as a some methods there we need a set the value or or yeah, take the value that's uh, that time we are using getter and setter uh, in a field method we have a one more notifier here what happened client will subscribe the event then after that event what is doing once the value has changed that time it will notify to the client that will happen in field method in some ip we are seeing main specification three mainly three specification first one is on wire format some ip we are using through wire communication between by wire and the second one is we are using some protocols um, methods uh, that methods call methods events and fields that one that the things we are using in majorly we are discuss service discovery yeah. here we are uh, going to discover the services what are the services available in network that's the thing happen in service discovery with the some details uh, i will explain later next one is ysi model here we are discussing about some um, uh, some how some ip operate in a uh, ysi model uh, this is the overview of ysi model mm -hmm. here uh, sh this picture showing how the flow will happen communicate uh, flow of the communication happen in client side and server side here client is requesting that time the communication happen from application layer to physical layer next server side it's a receiving end here uh, the uh, communication happen from physical layer to application layer next we are going to discuss about physical layer this is the responsible for the physical transmission of data over the network uh, we can see here now uh, first the data is uh, uh, in we are seeing in physical layer 0101 binary format the physical layer what it will do it will convert the physical uh, binary value to uh, communication uh, how we are transmitting from by voltage or light pulses like that we are transmitting now it will convert to the voltage level or light pulses like that uh, examples we are using uh, some ports ethernet uh, we are using some uh, ports and a uh, lan cable that is the uh, physical layer we can take that example for physical layer we are working on the physical layer that time in second uh, one is data link layer this layer is responsible for ensuring the reliable delivery of data between two devices on the same network uh, in data link layer we can see we are receiving the some data from applic uh, physical layer that is the frames we are receiving here uh, here uh, we can say here data link layer will do two things one is transmission one is receiving uh, uh, the data some uh, data will it will take the some data from physical layer and it will give to the network and again it's the sending time transmitting time it will take the data from network layer it will give to the physical layer. every layer doing the same work here data link layer what will do in transmission time it will take the packets from network layer and it will make the uh, one frame we can uh, say here frame uh, ethernet frame or uh, it will make the ethernet with the adding the headers and footers uh, mm, you can you, you can see here that image show what is the frame has here data link layer as a destination address source address other address and data and frame footer in uh, we can take example as a uh, uh, ethernet their mac address will be added here and next one is network layer network layer it has uh, some <coughs> some source destination ip address and routing information um in network layer what it will do it will receive the packets from data link layer and it will cannot uh, remove the what the information uh, added from other source in network layer that will it will remove like that source destination ip address and uh, routing information uh, and it's uh, taking the data from uh, segments from it will receive the segment from upper layer transport protocol layer and it will make the uh, packets uh, by adding the uh, source destination ip address and routing information 
and next one is the transport layer this layer is uh, responsible for providing reliable connection between two applications it uses small transport protocol to ensure that data is delivered without errors or loss the transport layer work is in uh, establish the connection between two application and error recovery and uh, retransmission the data this is the transport layer work here what happened means here it will take the segment and it will merge uh, it will convert to the data format in uh, it will receive the upper layer it will take the data from and it will um, make these some pieces of data that called segments because of uh, for a reliability of connection and uh, we have to deliver the uh, data without error so the reason it will make the some pieces of data that's called segment here majorly we are using uh, udp and tcp protocol uh, that thing we will discuss later in session layer this layer is here responsible for managing the communication session in session layer what it will do it will it uh, first we have a so many session uh, so many data and so many say, uh, need uh, to transmit have to transmit that time we need us uh, some time to uh, transmit some data that time we have to uh, make the some sequence of sessions after that uh, this data have to go this data have to go like that that the things it will session layer will do in the presentation layer what it will do it is the uh, encryption and decryption method happen in presentation layer first we are uh, receiving the some text images from application layer here. it will convert into the binary format it is receiving from uh, it is taking the some uh, binary value from a lower layer it will convert to the text image format for the application layer this work uh, uh, will do presentation layer in application layer we, are, we can take the example for we are browsing uh, any uh, browsing the website that time we are seeing some data that's in http for format it's converted to the our response user interface. hello okay uh, <clears throat> that thing happen in application layer in uh, we can take here some ip where some ip will come you know majorly some ip will come comes in here application layer and session layer and presentation layer work also completed in application layer for some ip in transport layer we are for uh, some ip we are using udp and tcp and uh, network layer uh, also it's taking in data link layer we are using ethernet or some other protocols to communicate with other network and next topic is tcp and udp mm -hmm. Here TCP and UDP both are comes in transport protocol. Transport protocol work is first ensure the reliable data delivery and establish the communication between two devices. This is the major work of the TCP and UDP. Here we can uh, see here TCP, what it will do. Before transmitting the data, it will establish the connection between two devices. First it will uh, make sure the connection is kind of, uh, good to transmit the data here we can see here that uh, three way and check it will happen in to uh, establish the connection first what a man means the sender will send the synchronized packet to the receiver after that receiver will acknowledge uh, send the synchronized acknowledgement packet to the sender after that sender also again send the synchronization acknowledgement for the to the receiver after that uh, connection establishment the data can be sent to the receiver that will happen in tcp here we can see the see tcp header how the uh, how it look like it has a 20 byte of uh, header first it has a uh, source port number and destination port number because we have to know the source address and destination address ports and this is the sequence number here we can we seeing sequence number in sequence number means i already told in a transport uh, uh, transport pro uh, transport protocol layer what is happening in segments are uh, data as are uh, divided into segments uh, in one data it's divided into eight eight that means we have we need as some order that thing happen in sequence numbers it has a sequence number it is the first segment second segment like that this is the uh, reason sequence number it has because of the 
reorder the data or as a receiver sometime miss it the data this thing will update here sequence number in acknowledgement number it will show uh, in indicate the acknowledgement it means uh, the data is receiver received or sent like that in a head this is the length uh, how much uh, header this is indicate the length of the header and this is the reserve in a window size means it's uh, it will indicate the how many data we are going to send and this is tcp checksum it this is the checksum for the data and header both uh, some uh, operation will do for the checksum that's uh, uh, data checksum for the it's a error detection and uh, for the data corruption we are using for the tcp checksum and next one is U, U, udp we can say this a uh, udp is a connectionless protocol or connectionless oriented protocol uh, in uh, hello hello devi can you please go on oh okay thank you uh, in udp for, uh, for using it's a um, we can say uh, the sender is sending the data, but sender doesn't know the data is received or not, or corrupted. Uh, nothing is uh, got it here. But in TCP, we can see the acknowledgement will receive after sender. Sender, everything here, we know the sender. Uh, uh, I am a sender now. I know that uh, the, my data is received to this receiver. Otherwise, how can I know that thing? But uh, here, use uh, UDP, uh, but... Uh, um here we don't have a guarantee for the data delivery and uh, we can see here that header format we don't have anything here. so source address destination address message length and checksum and data this thing uh, it has it means it doesn't have acknowledgement and a source or sequence number of the data it will uh, because of the reason here we are sending the small uh, we are making here small pieces of the segment compared to tcp so the reason here uh, we are using for the user data udp uh, you can see here the maximum port number and message length here message length uh, we are using 65535 bits and here 65535 bits for the port number and source source number source port number and uh, this is the comparison of tcp and udp <coughs> we can see here slow but um, more reliable transfer but uh, the tcp is slower compared to udp but it's a reliable communication but sender know that my data is received or not here it's a fast and best effort it will give the i will give all data to the receiver and next where we are using in a ftp web browsing email in udp we can say live streaming online game there we can use but tcp we are using unique cast one direction only and um one to here uh, udp using multicast broadcast unicast in so many application also uh, here we can see how the communication happen from sender to receiver using udp the receiver will request i need this data after that uh, sender will start to the res uh, response to the receiver but in tcp but sender first have to know the, the communication as good or established like uh, with the synchronized uh, synchronization how it's happened first it will send the synchronizers packet to the receiver after it's getting the uh, synchronization acknowledgement after it it is also sending the one acknowledgement i received the synchronization acknowledgement uh, otherwise it's not received after that what it will do it will send again synchronization message that will happen here tcp and next topic is ethernet uh, we are almost we are using it in, no, in office or any sectors it uh, lan cable we can say that as a, a ethernet in a ethernet we are uh, more commonly used for communication between uh, communication between two devices or more devices we are using to switch for this uh, in ethernet we are uh, uh, normally used in lan man and van cables <laughs> uh, we can see uh, here 
where ethernet will come in ethernet will comes here uh, data link layer and physical layer in the physical layer responsible for the physical transmission of data over the network it includes the physical hardware such as cable connector and networks yes yeah, uh, physical layer, what it will do, it will convert the some uh, binary value to voltage level. After that, the, we are have a ports and cables. Uh, we, are, uh, we can see now um, in office or anywhere in the LAN cable, we are anyways, uh, you know, LAN cable, we can take example for uh, Ethernet transmission. There, what happened? It will uh that ethernet cables and the connectors are comes under physical layer and the data link layer is a responsible for the ensure the reliable delivery of data between two devices on the same network in data link layer what it will do it will do the uh, making a frame for ethernet protocol uh, we can say here it will add the mac address and it will show ensure the uh, 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 the data is delivered to the other application this thing will uh, comes in data link layer and in um, we can application layer what are the things comes we can see here http smtp these things will come in a transport player tcp and udp i already explained this thing in network layer ip this thing will comes in uh, as a uh, uh, compared to OSI model. In a, how the Ethernet communication will, will go? In com uh, Ethernet communication, majorly using CSMA bar CD method, it means sense multiple access with uh, collision detection. Uh, first, how it work? After that, I will give one example with. Uh, for this CSMA bar CD. Um, first, it will wait for the, before transmitting. It will wait for some time to check the bus um first it will check the bus it's a uh, busy or not this thing will first it will do after that it's a uh, once the bus is uh, no um, free that time it will start the transmission of the data sometime what happened the two devices are connected for the one switch that time both are uh, i will give the one example that time uh, we have a printer uh, we can see some printers in uh, some various sectors there what uh, what they will do all devices connected to one printer then uh, uh, my, um, me and my friends are sending one data to print at a time what will happen from that so, uh, we are not using cms or cd that time we uh, my data and my friend data both will be uh, printed in on the paper that's the uh, we are not expecting that output because that's a waste also. So there is, uh, that time CSMA bar CD will comes. First, what happened here? Ethernet before sending the data to the uh, printer, it will uh, first we will check the bus is busy or not. Once the we are both are checking at a time first, it's a busy it, bus is busy now. Now after that we are waiting for random amount of time. I'm waiting one second, or my friend is waiting second two seconds. Like that randomly we are waiting and after that i am also checking he is also checking after two seconds because of we are waiting for one second again we are one after one second we are checking uh, that time also we getting some, some busy so the reason we are taking a random time to check the bus that time when bus is free that time i will transfer uh, my data will go uh, and take the printout this the, this is the way ethernet will work and next one is um you, you can see here this is the frame of the some ip protocol it has a header and payload section uh, uh, hi heman uh, yeah sorry to disturb you uh so i just want to understand first like you explain now tcp udp and ethernet so can you just please explain first before jumping into some ip that what are how these tcp udp and ethernet are relevant to some ip and what is their importance in some ip oh, okay i will explain that um uh before we are going um in some ip it will comes in upper layers almost and a TCP, UDP, this thing will uh, we are using after uh, to communicate uh, to the other devices. Um, uh, we can take here here application layer. We are majorly using some IP. In transport layer, we are using UDP uh, some protocols to transmit some data. Right? 
there we were taking udp or tcp protocol both are we can use uh, tcp or udp to transmit the data in a uh, data link layer we can use ethernet or can or some other network also uh, protocol also we can use to transmit the data uh, this is the reason i am explaining this too udp and tcp we are uh, using in transport layer protocol this is not uh, like ethernet uh, udp tcp is not similar to uh, this uh, protocols it's a majorly we are displaying to service uh, service oriented protocol it's uh, we are first what is the uh, reason means client first it is uh, discover the service what are the services these things as defined in application layer uh, so i am going to uh, define some application steering controller steering controller i am defining the some uh, uh, services here what are the things i need for the service uh, steering control automotive steering control there i need camera camera ecu and uh, some uh, radar ecu these things i need that definition is uh, defined in application layer but we are we have to communicate with other devices uh, right so the reason we need in transport layer we have some uh, uh, protocol in transport layer and in uh, uh, under layers uh, lower layer are, uh, we are using ethernet now we are using majorly ethernet uh, we can use can and as uh, uh, lean flex ray these things also we can use automotive field majorly we can use anything also mm. so some ip is using ethernet or can for from data uh, layer uh, in in automotive field we can use any uh, um, uh, protocol for some ip some ip will comes upper layers and we can say in uh, some uh, atom auto sir uh it has a application layer and bsw layer in bsw layer where uh, ethernet and can will come after can inter interface layer uh, we can see can ethernet but some ip will come uh, uh, till udp uh, sorry pdr protocol pdr layer um i missed it that uh, adding the that that slide in automotive perspective where we are seeing in uh, some ip um and some ip underneath is using tcp or udp uh, we can use both uh, we can uh, we are trying uh, with the ip address we can use a udp also and tcp also uh, i will show the example in finally for a use of how to use a udp okay mm -hmm. i have submit here i guess uh, the tcp and udp things are configurable for ESM IP. So mm -hmm. as he said, uh, it comes into the application layer and which protocol to use for transmission uh, in case TCP or UDP, that can be picked up from configuration. And um, under the hood at the data transmission layer, uh, mostly they are using ethernet nowadays, but I'm, I'm not certain for CAN, lean or flex arrays are being used with so uh, I'm sorry. Actually, I remember like there is a certain limit of data that can be transferred using yes. UDP. So yeah, the, yeah, but um, as you said, the UDP is much faster, and uh, there might be presence or services exposed <clears throat> in a way that uh, they don't require uh, or uh, acknowledgement of such. So in that case, uh, you can pass packets using UDP. Mm. Yes, but uh, we can hear some IP as a some type of communication, right? A response, request response, and uh, fire and forward. This thing will happen. Framework. If you but see UDP it, using uh, for wireless communication, TCP use it for uh, wire communication. We are here. Mm -hmm. Even even I am learning. Uh, I thought uh, means like we can configure whichever. Transmission protocol that we, ah, we have to configure in a service discovery which protocol yeah. we are going to use. That's, that things also we are configuring service discovery. Oh. I will so explain so, that. So, some IP is wireless or wired? Ah, we can use both so wire and wireless. We are using Ethernet, uh, it means a LAN cable or anything, and wireless also we can use. With the help of the some IP address, we can transmit with the IP uh, server. Um, 
I will show you an example. So how... We can take all the questions after this presentation. Okay. Okay. Uh, shall we move? Yes, I will. Yes, yes. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is the um, head, uh, header, form, header format of the some IP protocol. Here we can see service ID and a method ID here. Met, uh, method ID or event ID and length of the payload and request ID and protocol version, interface version, message type and return. These things I will show you. Service ID. It has a service ID. It is a unique identifier for each service. Uh, we are going to take the some service of temperature. It has a temperature service. We are taking some camera uh, images. That's the camera service. Like that, we are uh, identify the uniquely for each services. And method ID means services as a some uh, information in temperature control as a maybe it has a two things in the uh, which in we are taking car temperature. There we are using fan and AC. There uh, it will take the temperature sensor first temperature or say a controller. It has a methods like uh, temperature sensor. It's take the temperature sensor data and. Uh, Another one is method is called on AC or on fan. This like it is as it is the some method ID and method IDs are start from zero to uh, three, 32,767 for methods. And this is the value for we are using ID number for we are using and 32,768 to uh, 65,535 for events. Events means uh, I already explained the notification and subscriber things happen here. He even means it's a it's like an interrupt when it's uh, who are subscribers as events that time once uh, events occur that time it will establish the data or transmit the data to the client. Length is the pay, uh, it has a play, payload length. And next one is client ID or session ID. Client ID, it will show the where the data will come. And session ID is which the session it has, it has allocated for the some session to the that uh, transmission. That time it that thing will update here. And protocol version indicate, um, it will indicate the which version protocol we are using. Maybe IP version 4, 5, 3, like this. And inter major interface version also here mentioned. In message type, we have uh, some messages uh, we, uh, types. Uh, we can see a request. It mean, request means zero zero. What happened here? Read zero zero. Uh, message type is here updated zero zero x zero zero. It means this uh, may, uh, this uh, uh, header is responsive. Just it's a requested header. And next one is, is this is the request no return. It means uh, it's a fire and forget. It means we are giving uh, enter the zero x zero one in uh, type message. This is the a fire and forget method and zero we are entered zero two it's a notifier event method like that and response also zero x eight zero we are in a return code it will indicate the data is deliberately successfully or not and any uh, error is uh, getting that thing will happen uh, uh, updated in return code when we here mention you okay means zero zero we are receiving zero zero the code is received successfully we are received one that time what it what will happen uh, the data is received uh, uh, corrupted or error in that one uh, this is the 008 we are received what happened we uh, the interface version is wrong that type it it will indicate in uh, next one payload data uh, is contain the actual data what the data we are sending uh, maybe it may be uh, images or uh, temperature data something and we can see here methods events fields already i told some uh, image and minor information of method event field in method we are seeing you know, two things one is request response and <coughs> just respond uh, request uh, called uh, fire and forget what happened here uh, i will show in coding language and the we have a one uh, service called uh, temperature. Uh, and we have a one variable called uh, 
temp current temperature uh we are, i am going to declare now uh methods i have a one method called get temperature Uh, what it will return the, the current temperature i'm going to take the current temperature what is the temperature of engine or car like that temperature sensor Another one is I want to set the temperature. That time, what will do set temperature? And I want to set the temperature means I need one parameter here uh, new temperature value. Here I have a service called temperature controller. Uh, here client need a, uh, now I am uh, I am a client. I need a temperature uh, value. What uh, what I will do? I will call them this method. These are these two are method. Get temperature. I will take the temperature. I want to set the temperature uh, to some normal level. That time I will call another method called set temperature. These are the method uh, methods. These two methods we are using to set and take the temperature from the server. Um, these two methods call maybe calling by another ECU. Uh, here the services are declaring someone uh, other ECU like that happened. And uh, other <coughs> other one is. Yeah. Next one is event. Event means it has a, some work. Um, when it will um, uh, occur means once the data has changed, that time it will send the data to the subscriber. Who is the subscriber means it uh, as a some subscribers uh, who are the uh, need a data like temperature that are uh, these are uh, that uh, people are subscribers to the that event. Uh, I will uh, we can take some example like uh, I need a, uh, some data it means uh, the driver has a all control all doors control like means he has a uh, he, he, uh, we have a four doors majorly we the driver door has a all control all doors control windows control so all uh, windows uh, uh, subs uh, clients what will do they will subscribe to the uh, main door uh, driver door control ecu that time what it will do the driver has changed the value that time it will notify to the remaining three doors data has changed that time it will happen and field in field we can say both in methods and events are combined in fields we can see here this uh, uh, this is the way in methods with return without return it will happen like requesting and taking the uh, are uh, taking the response from the server here client what it will do it will 
subscribe the event after uh, it will uh, server will re response with the subscriber acknowledgement after that uh, when uh, events occur that time only it will notify to the uh, clients it's no need to again subscribe uh, um, uh, we have uh, some offer uh, here before we don't need this data that time we can unsubscribe this event uh, we have that option also in field we have both getter setter it means i'm going to set the value and taking the value from the server that is thing happen with the response uh, response we are taking and getting from server here in field notification it means it is the similar as event once client subscriber to uh, subscribe to the event no need to again he need to uh, request or sending the request these things no need once the data has changed from one uh, now data is zero it's changed to one that time it will indicate the, it will notify the client and next one is <coughs> service discovery uh, hemant i have just yeah. one question oh, okay. so uh, in the method call uh, explanation what you have given as example right where you have defined some of the methods right yeah. so um, as per that as per your flow diagram your issue a will request or it will call certain methods from issue b or how is that can you just explain that one more time as per this diagram uh, okay as per this diagram yeah. first you, you had given will... one class uh, uh, yeah, example will... right yeah hmm. so that is for method call right uh ah, yeah first we have to establish the connection right after that i will calling the methods uh, it's i say by calling ah, so methods. here request is what request is a, request a call the, to the method i of need SOB. one data um uh, that's also we can say that the calling the method can request also you can say that one by calling the request with the some uh, information uh uh, I am requesting some services, temperature. I need a temperature data. I am requesting that. I need this data to from service or uh, temperature service. Issue B is the, B is the uh, service client, uh, serve, server for this temperature sensor. Uh, temperature sensor. It has the temperature details. So it, till it is updated the uh, services to the network. I am going to discover the some services available or not. I need a service uh, from the uh, temperature service. Here I'm calling the by method. It means I have a, uh, I don't know the services uh, is there or not. I'm just requesting um, the network. I need a service uh, by calling the method. Um, by calling method means I already told you like uh, class I defined. Requesting means that's the same. I calling them by uh, calling some um, uh, method. What I am so calling how here. Does, hmm. How does uh, issue A knows what are the services or what are the methods that is offered by issue B or like how these things works? Is there any mechanism or? Uh, or yeah, uh, we have one mechanism called service discovery. This is the service discovery we have. Okay. It has uh, some offer here. We can say here, we are, I'm going to find the service. Maybe it's there or not. I don't know, but I'm going to find it. It's not, uh, we will get the negative acknowledgement. So this is uh, followed across all the mechanism like notification events and uh, methods. Ah, yeah, so ah, for yeah, everything, yeah. this is applied. This rule is. Yes, yes. Here I have a subscriber. Sus subscriber, what it does, I will explain after that uh, you will get uh, maybe. Okay, okay. After. Fine, fine. Carry on. Okay, yeah. All the standards using all these things are huh? subscribe, acknowledgement and everything. Like there ah, is yeah. a uh, various uh, standards, right? Autosar, Autosar, uh, Classic, Adaptive, Genuine. I, so they all using in Autosar. Everything, huh? uh, come again. So is it specific to any particular, this some may be specific to any particular standard or it is it common for all the standards? Uh, it's specified for the automotive field. Okay. Uh, we are this is the majorly we are using in standards uh, like autosar yeah genevi iso like uh, how is it applicable to all mm, i'm not sure that one mm, i will get okay. back to you after i will check that okay 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 uh, let's continue uh, shall i continue yes okay. yes uh, uh, now some ip service discovery it means it will discover the what are the service server available in <coughs> network first what it will do we have a some uh, 
uh, header called the entity. It will comes in some IP header entity entity entries. Find service offer service. This is will update in service discovery. Uh, we can see here. This is the frame format for this service. Here we have a find offer subscribe subscribe acknowledgement stop offer stop subscribe subscribe negative acknowledgement. These things are the uh, service discovery types. Uh, uh, here configuring time. What will we do here? What is the uh, type? We are updating zero one means it's a one means offer zero means find. It's the, these are the predefined zero means what offer one means what. These are the predefined. I updated with the zero one. It means survey. It's a offer. I updated here zero. I'm. It means I'm finding the some services. This is the meaning here. Here next, I am going to update the uh, index. Uh, it's it has uh, some details. Length of the array and uh, here we can see length of the header. This is the length head header length it will indicate and type which type uh, version uh, some IP we are using here IP version 4 it has mentioned version 4 next it was reserved and this is the IP address we can see this is the IP address for the UDP protocol or TCP protocol and here uh, you, you can see here I, uh, someone already asked uh, it need to configure or not for UDP we are going to using here we are not going to use UDP. So the reason here mentioned UDP for it is 11. It's a UDP. Some other value is a 10 like that. That's the maybe TCP like that. This is the service discovery port. It's a fixed port for the specific services. This is the D903. Now we can take the one example first. This is the event service event method with the service discovery. What it I uh, will do here? Some IP. It will. Uh, someone asked right. How the uh, request will happen? This is the request we can take here. It will some IP. What it will doing? It will transmit the SD header. What it has? Type find service. Maybe it's there or not. I don't know. It what it will do? It will find the service. That's the work for the this time with the service id this is the uh, id for the uh, source and next what we get the service offer the service offering server what it will do uh, first some ip fetch the one services find a uh, uh, service after that we will get the response right <laughs> here we are taking we are again taking the header or that updated header what it has Type offer the services and service ID and entry type. Here we can see it IP version 4 and address and protocol, UDP, and port number. These all are mentioned in here now. Next one is I am going to subscribe. Now I am client. I am going to subscribe one event. That time I updated the type as a subscribe event group, service ID, and event group ID. This is the group ID. Uh, we uh, we are mentioned here. I am going to. I uh, maybe it has uh, so many groups in uh, one service. So the reason I am going to offer one service gr uh, event group. Uh, that uh, event group ID is zero four uh, four double four six five, and uh, uh, with the information of uh, protocol type, address, and protocol uh, port number. These are the things up I updated, and uh, uh, what it will do server. After I need a service acknowledgement because of I don't know my send the subscriber uh, not request to the server, but uh, I don't know it's subscribed or not. So with the acknowledgement, I confirmed I subscriber for the this event. After that, we can see here this three line here events occurred. That time also that time only I received the data from event. Uh, this is how some IP work. Anyone has doubt here? Because someone asked already um, here how the request and response will happen. So that thing will happen like this only. Uh, so find service, offer service. Now you're getting right. Okay. Uh, how this packet is framed like uh, means once we are trying to get uh, call the get function, then we need to frame this packet or how it is. Uh, 
yes it has uh, it, it this thing will happen in configuration so uh, uh, this things all are uh, made by configuration after in that, which file uh, we need to configure that means any file specific file uh, we are not doing here because service id means it has a method id uh, okay i write a get method right get temperature right that uh, that will take as a one id that id you have to mention here type sorry not type here service id then only we will i will know you are taking here i here i mentioned right event group this is the id for event group you mention it is mention one event then i am going to uh, subscribe that event that's the uh, major things here it everything is happen from id some ids are declared here mm. okay next topic is real time application i will show here how the things happen here uh we have a some uh, issue called a header unit a vehicle control camera and short range radar and long range radar you can see here i have a camera for this is you can say car parking time we need a control right so this is the object recognition camera issue you uh, every issue has a individual ip address and port address first what i uh, vehicle control is the consumption service this is the client consumer service it has it will what it will do here i am showing like what i showed in code like that but really what happened this is this will uh, make the one frame with the id object recognition upon object recognition as a one some code some id here this event group as a some id it means uh, i will give some id like uh, here you can see here 30509 uh, sorry this is not uh, 4465 uh, this is the event id i will uh, for method uh, we have a value called value from range we have a some range for method and event i am going to declare this is event means i have a, uh, that uh, event as a some id from range between 33000 c768 to 65535 in the range it will come 0 to 32767 this is the method but inside we can see uh, where is event uh, yeah but event says there some uh, data here object new position object now blur i am going to subscribe this event object new position i have sent uh, this is event id maybe this is the event id for the object uh, recognition uh, here what what uh, what happened means the object recognized yes it will updated with the new value that time i will receive the notification uh, the one object is detected like that but uh, how it's connected right uh, uh, with the sending the some ids all are happening from the sending the some values everything will happen in here in binary code right anyway we are going to this uh, communication with data encoding one format to another format but here frame will we have to make frame but how the frame will format here first a type yeah, index position index position as the length type reserved version and this thing is as uh, it has uh, and this is also it uh, it has a event uh, sir uh, which type instance or service id as uh, this is the event id or um, uh, method id we can see here where uh, here we can we are going to mention here this is the event or method method means just a function right it is a function i have mentioned that uh, function id here just i will send uh, i will make the frame and i will send this to network with the updating all configuration then uh, what happened i find uh, found the id from some service uh, other issue or services i found in network that time that service what will uh, it will do it will offer it will offer the service what i need some data what uh, the service will give some data that will give to me that thing happen here Mm. I, I, it's clear, everyone. 
or uh, i'm going to uh, some show the uh, uh, examples now uh, this is the example for request and response uh, I'm going to create a one application called client and another one called service. Client is a request and a uh, client is a uh, consumer and a provider is a service. Server is a provider response. So, Hemant, you are creating client and server on the same machine. It is one physical machine, right? Uh, yeah, here I am using UDP protocol. I will show how, how it will show. I mean, I will start this. Yeah, you can see here. Uh, here everything is initialized application client sample name and a client id 100 this thing is initialized uh, after that here searching the application you can see here uh, this uh, client is registered with 101 service here is not available is not uh, first it's checking the service someone asked right it may be it's not finding two times you can see here it's getting acknowledgement is not available it's not available once it's fetched it's updating with is available after on available that's id 010 i am going to register with 101 i found 101 service after that what it will do client is connecting to android uh, service and a service uh, sent a request to the service. You can see here the request is sent to service with the ID, some ID. <laughs> uh, receiver, receiver side response from service. Here we are received the response from the service. You can see here. Uh, we have started here application server sample is registered here it has reserved uh, is registered with a client after that it's offering here you can see here it's updated with offer offer to which one 100 i already show here the idea of this uh, client session this is the 100 uh, yes it's 100 i already show right yeah it is the 100 it's a uh, it's a uh, finding the service of 101 it means this is the id of the 101 um it's connected with the 100 now it's offering to the under uh, sir uh, client you can see here it's offering to under it is updated the uh, source address and it's offering again port configuration and register acknowledgement everything is updated you can see here they received a message with a client session so, uh, this is the client id and session uh, sessions are different but client id is the same the so session it, uh, yeah. all this information is available in that service discovery and which is which we defined in some json file right ah uh, yes can you please show explain uh, show us that json file your json file from your code okay. and then correlate this data with that here we have to take some more time we need some more time to discuss this one json file uh, okay i will open on json file and this is the service responsible for because without json file it will not work right ah uh, yeah yeah uh it has created one application name hello world service <laughs> with a heidi and uh, name of the client and id and services what are the services services id 0111 instance uh, and uh, routing uh, service discoveries enabled here false uh, it means we are not using here it is service discovery 
I will check another one. Hmm. I can see here what multicast and uh, that address port address and protocol. We can we can see here uh, service uh, how the service discovered. First, it is enable and uh, multicast. Uh, it's a address of the UDP uh, IP, IP address and port number of the service SD port number and which uh, in multicast which IP we need to provide here in multicast uh, it's the default ID we are giving you can connect uh, you can communicate it with the two devices uh, you connected you have to give that uh, IP uh, means uh, using this client and server you are telling like uh, mm, client yeah. can run in so, one machine and server can run in yeah, another yeah. machine I am using only that, one devices. So the, this is the default address. It's don't take, uh, I'm using in one devices. So it will take same address here. Okay, if client and server are in different PCs, then what address I need to provide here? No, uh, I have to provide, I have to use this service discovery in client and server side both. I, uh, this uh, multicast it's going to cast with the uh, to the this address uh, this uh, service uh, IP address. Then I have to uh, take the this IP address to access this service. In service uh, discovery, I have to match right here. This both service uh, it is the multicast. It means we can access from other devices also. I enter this service uh, IP address. I can access this data to the another devices. It's a service. Uh, sir, uh, it is a server. Uh, what will do? Client side have to update, uh, enter uh, to uh, discover the uh, service with the IP address. Then only uh, it will connect. In port, we can see uh, this is the service discovery port I mentioned 30490 and protocol UDP and initial delay minimum 10 millisecond and uh, delay maximum 100 millisecond and uh, repetition base delay 200 these things are uh, updated in a ttl means uh, time to live first it will uh, wait for three second three second for the checking the service are available or not or client is cyclic offer delay uh, this is the offer or uh, some uh, time i am offering to some client that time uh, no one is uh, taking my offer that time it will uh, taking uh, 2000 means uh, two uh, two second now uh, re uh, request response delay uh, these things update because of an uh, acknowledgement it's no it's over it will send uh, again, again i have a doubt hello yeah uh, yeah yeah yeah, in this multicast for if we are connecting between two systems, then both the systems should have this same IP address. Uh, yeah. Or one system should have the IP of the other, like that. Uh, no, no, no. You can, now I am using, this is the server. You know, just assume this is the server. Okay. Uh, this is the server IP address. Okay. Then you have to access this server, means which IP address you have to enter. This is the, this is the IP address you have to enter, right? Okay. Otherwise, it will find other one, other service. No, in two different system, not in a single system. Mm -hmm. Server would be in one system and client would be in one system. Uh, yeah, this is multicast, right? This is not a unicast. This is multicast means it's a server. What it will do? It will offer this. Um, it's a published. This is uh, you can access. Uh, uh, yes, in the client side, I am not um, mentioning the client address here. This is the service address, but here uh, I will show in uh, PPT. You can see here, here request ID, here client ID we will mention, but uh, no need to mention server ID, it's a client IP address. We don't need client IP address to fetch uh, to take uh, no, the no. service. What we are asking is uh, oh. client IP address is fine. Let's mm -hmm. say if you are running client and server in two different machines, then yeah. definitely there is two JSON files in at client side and server side, correct? Uh, yes. Uh, server side, we will give multicast and we will give the might be will give the same uh, PC address as the mm -hmm. in server side but in client side what address we need to give like 
Ah, this uh, is uh, there. We have to give server address. We are finding server, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, you are telling we need to give the server address. Huh? But yeah. this is multicast means we won't give the PC address normally, right? We will uh, in multicast case. Multicast case, I don't know correctly. But in server, we are serving means uh, we are going to find this uh, IP address, right? A client, what it will do? It will find the, the this service, right? I have to find this service means I have yeah. to mention this IP address. Otherwise, I how it uh, find? How the client will find this service? Okay, you can take web address. You are uh, enter some web address like this one, uh, the, like this. You are entering uh, um, some. Uh, I am sharing one file from my PC to another PC. Which uh, sir, uh, which IP address I have to uh, enter? My IP address or uh, another uh, PC IP address? Here I am entering another PC address, right? To I I want to share that to uh, my data to that PC. So I am entering that P, uh, the, on a server side IP address. You got it right. Uh, no, a bit confusing. Okay. Mm. Okay. Here I'm going to subscribe to this multicast uh, service. I have to. Uh, what we are going to do? First, we are uh, updating the service details in ST, right? Yes. Uh, here you are seeing. I'm going to search this address, right? Here, IP address you are seeing 192.168.0.1, right? This is the server address. We are going to search on address, right? If we are connecting using some IP. Hmm. Some IP, it, uh, its name is uh, say scalable service <laughs> over, and over IP. It's uh, working on internet product uh, IP, right? This is the IP we are discover this IP from service. This is the server IP. Uh, you see. So uh, is it discoverable uh, from the other machine? Is it possible? Yeah. Without internet also? I mean, if you are using any Ethernet cable or something. Yeah. You so can since see the server is, mm. server is broadcasting, so that a client can uh, subscribe ah, that and uh, receive the data. Uh, yeah, it can. Okay. You can see here uh, every ECU has a different different IP address here. Uh, I want this uh, IP, uh, this uh, device's details. Then this, uh, sorry, this is the vehicle control. It is uh, this vehicle control need this service. Here consume service. What it will do? It will uh, uh, have to mention this IP address here, right? Yeah. I'm searching this IP uh, service means I have to mention this IP address, this port. Mm, in example, I will show. Uh, here it's uh, see you can see here. This is the server address, server ID. What it's uh, mentioning? It's uh, searching on uh, service right here. Application searching 101 ID service is not available. Is not available. And it's connected with the 101 service. You got it right now. Or still confusing state. Hello. Yeah, so that uh, there 101 is the ID, right? You are ah, saying ID, that is the ID. Okay, and then you are giving the port number. Hmm. Okay, since it is in a single machine itself, so you are oh. just, uh, I mean, broadcasting with a single port, I mean, only port, uh, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. not only mentioning. Okay. Uh, this is all belongs to code or JSON file. Okay. It's so, uh, I mean, generally in, uh, I mean, uh, any car, so mm -hmm. do we need to use UDP only or uh, TCP also? Uh, we so how it will be? TCP also, but I okay. am not right TCP because I uh, we don't, I'm not, I, uh, I don't have the time to check TCP it work or not. 
uh, uh, i no, need no, some generally time. asking in the car ah, we can do in we the can car do. in the car uh, in the car uh, in some ip we can do both wireless and uh, wire we can yeah, communicate with some ip yeah. we can do because some ip is generic protocol right uh, oh, i mean yeah. it is not dedicated to only automotive mm-hmm. so uh, i just want to understand like uh, so in car uh, do we need to use udp or uh, can we use tcp ip also uh, we can use tcp ip also okay generally how i mean oems uh, uses udp mm. mostly or... it's a user requirement how the user will ask the type we can use okay suppose if, uh, if one some, ec to uh, another ecu yeah if you want to establish a communication i mean so one ec is broadcasting and another ec wants to subscribe that and uh, receive the updates for that mm-hmm. so in that case udp is fine uh, udp also fine and uh, sometimes uh for reliable uh, uh connection some users ask yeah. tcp that time we can yes. use uh, yeah. tcp okay it's a user dependent uh, which uh, protocol we have to use okay yeah got it thank you okay uh hello bishma uh, yes freeman shall we wind uh, up or still uh, we have i have one more example shall i show or uh, shall we we can show in next session uh okay uh, okay okay if it is possible can you show can you show now ah uh, okay uh, bishma yeah, can you because share? yeah yeah i'm yeah, not yeah. sure whether we can participate uh, i mean ah uh, okay we will get the time to participate in the second time also okay. that's why i just want to see first uh here i'm requesting for the subscribe it won't stop uh first what it will do first it's a finding the service client <laughs> uh and next is available it's the requesting uh, with the id and a subscriber it will send a subscriber right it's a sub- client subscribe okay mm. it will register offer um. it is getting the subscriber acknowledgement okay this is the client id 101 is connecting to 100 server uh, 100 means event uh, it's a event we can receive the uh, subscriber subscribe uh, to 10100 this is the uh, event id um we are not seeing that uh, client is fff yeah this is the client id triple uh, all fff here we can see in subscriber client means what is happening first setting the uh, here subscriber first it says subscribed we getting the uh, subscriber acknowledgement in uh, uh, client side i received the subscriber acknowledgement it means uh, uh, i am a subscriber of this event what happening here event has uh, occurred length two event has occurred yeah, i received the one messages here you can see here i am received that images sorry message 
and again here also one event occurred uh, event occur once the event occurred we are receiving the event from client side As you can see here the notification we are receiving here and uh, here i'm sending the stop offer yeah we saw uh, seen right here some offer on stop offer i said uh, now i don't need stop uh, sorry here it okay i don't need now i want to unscribe subscribe now i said stop the offer now uh, it's not service is not available now again uh, this is server side oh, okay client side hmm. here again i have to subscribe i have to get the subscribe button after that only i will receive the data here you can see no data is received here but here continuously transmitting is happening some events are occurring uh, events are uh, coming in events are occurring here but when i subscribed that time only i'm getting receiving the data you can see here i'm subscribed here length 3 here i received from length 2 but in the here what happened i stopped the offer unsubscribe that time it will stop and again i have it uh, after subscribing i will get the notification from client uh, server side uh, sorry client side uh, here subscriber acknowledgement i received after that i am again started the receiving that data this will happen in uh, event this is the event method hmm. yeah this is going <laughs> Uh, once event occur, it's a uh, it's continuing like that. Um, but I don't have a control to stop or thing. Um, we have to update that thing also to better understand. I have to send uh, manually that offers. This offers I have to make uh, one SD. Then only we will get a better. Here already that uh, things are mentioned in JSON file. So the reason I can't control this thing, mm -hmm. this is the event example. Mm. Okay, shall we end the session? Anyone has doubt here? Yeah, yes, Simon. Ah, okay. If we connect two laptops using wired and running some IP client server, okay. Like which IP it will take? Like IP or port? You have to mention both, right? Port and yeah, IP. Like, right? huh. uh, which mm. side you are talking? You are talking in uh, client side or server side? Like, if you want for client side, what will no. be the port and IP? And if you want for server, and what will be? No, the no. Port first, and... you have to mention right. First, what will happen? First, will happen from client side. Client have to find the service or yeah. subscribe the service. Then first, uh, who will find the uh, who will send the information uh, first it will mention which service i need which uh, uh, from, from which uh, i see oh, yeah, it will give the uh, service then only I, we, I will get i have to know right which service will come uh, which uh, first we have to find this uh, I'm, which service i am looking that is available in network or not so the reason uh, first service will what it will do it will mention the IP address and a support ID and a service message type. This thing, everything we will mention and it will send to, it will transmit to the network. It, once it's a find the service, then only server side, it will offer the service to the client. After that, uh, server has the client address, right? Client details, client ID, it has. Then it will reply to the offer. You got it right. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Anyone? Okay. Then no one is the way doubt. Shall we wind up? Hello, Bishma. Hello. Uh, yes, I am.
Ah, okay. You can you can you can close the session, Bishma. Yeah. Thank you all for your kind participation. <laughs> we will meet in the next month.